Once again, it's time for Impact Moment right here on DCTV. I'm Alvin Jones, and today we're going to talk about the IT. The IT, the IT. I'm talking about, of course, technology when it comes to doing things over the internet. And we've got Bridget Gray. She is with Prescolis. Yes. <laughs> and know. you are about the impact. We are. And isn't that your title? Your title has impact in it? Actually, it is. I'm our chief impact officer. So I make sure that everything that we do um, has impact with the lives and the communities that we provide training to with our business community as well so yes impact is part of our our business well let's talk about IT I understand you guys train folks for IT we do we train people in everything on what people would deem entry level to mid level skills um, so that's everything from your end user support roles to your cybersecurity your coders um, your cloud fundamentals we train people in IT so in other words if you get certified in IT to paraphrase the lady, you gonna get a job. <laughs> you will get a job. If you want a job, you'll get a job. What are the success, you know, metrics? I would say, if a person graduates from Prescolas and they get their degree or certification, what are their possibilities of getting a job? Yeah, so if they're getting their credentials, uh, and even in those training tracks where there's no actual certification, 83% um, of our uh, learners go on to secure full-time employment. And the um, initial average wage is usually in the low 40s, but our goal is always to move people towards a thriving wage. And so we want to make sure that even when you start at your uh, low 40s, we can help you thrive and move that wage further um, into something that's much more sustainable for you and your families. Now, I know folks who may not be versatile in IT may be challenged or may be fearful of going into IT. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that people have and how do you help them alleviate those fears? So the thing that's really interesting about IT is what you find that comes to your door are the curious people, right? Mm -hmm. The folks that are problem solvers, the, the tinkerers, the people that want to tear something apart and put it back together because those are the folks that are really interested in IT. That's who employers look for as well. But there are those folks who think that IT is the fact that I can get on Facebook or I can get on Instagram or social media, and that's not IT, that's a function of IT. And so we really try to dig deep in our interviewing process to really find out what is your passion and what is it you're looking to do. IT is also the space too where when you initially start, it may not be the space you're looking for. You may not want to work on a help desk forever, but you need to test it out just to figure out what form of IT you're looking to work in. Tell me something that surprised you in, in working with uh, Priscola? So, um, in working with Priscola, uh, one of the things that drew me to the organization, so I've been here over six and a half years now, and one of the things that drew me was um, how deeply ingrained um, Priscola is in social justice, equity, inclusion. It's, it's, it's entrenched. It started out as an organization 25 years ago, just connecting technology to communities of color that lacked the basic level computers. And it morphed into a training organization that's actually providing technology in a different way. It may not be providing an actual physical computer, but it's providing the pathways um, to make sure that people can move into the middle class and continue to thrive within that space. The other thing that really surprised me about the organization and just our work is we are um, solutions focused, um, business driven, and we are also um, an organization that has been studied a couple times. So when it comes down to like looking at our data and realizing that the impact we have is really great, the fact that we're a nonprofit and we're not afraid to have someone to come in and like lift the hood and make sure that all the things we say we're doing, we do. That is amazing to me. So what she's saying is, don't believe her, just watch, because they are doing it, and I mean IT. So if you're saying we can't find qualified IT people who are diverse, you know, we're looking to, to set up a situation where we have diversity and inclusion, all you have to do is contact Miss Bridget Gray at Per Scholars, and, and tell them how they can reach you. Yeah, so they can reach us. We have um, 14 training locations, and we have um, two in this area, one in Silver Spring, Maryland, uh, as well as in Baltimore. And they can reach us at www.perscholas.org and go and um, select your location and apply online. Well, that's it. 
as in IT. Thank you for coming on Impact Moment. We really yeah. appreciate it. So make sure you check them out, Priscalis. And it's all a part of Impact Moment on DCTV. I'm Alvin Jones, and thank you for watching us. And make sure you check it out.